a good rainy Monday morning to you guys. It's me and Pat over here. We're at uh, actually the Science Center. Yeah. He, he's filming a piece for his TV, TV class? Uh, yeah, single cam production class. And uh, he's gonna interview me look about- fancy. Yeah, look at that. It's like a news story. It's gonna be awesome. You guys don't get to see it though because it's for his school. Sorry. Patrick is learning his lines. We gotta be really quiet so it's he can really concentrate. We have to wait for this train to go by. Look at how slow it's going. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. That Osprey doesn't like us being up there. Oh no, he's calling out to his, his wife. Heck yeah. It's like nature. Now we've made our way downtown and we're under a bridge. Yay. Actually, we're at the arena. You guys can't see it, it's too bright out there. It was all last night and it's still all set up from the night before. They had like a crazy party concert right there where, uh, what's his name? What's that, what's that band? The Gym Class Heroes were playing right there. The guys on the curb back there are selling like counterfeit all-star jackets for 10 bucks. It's a pretty good deal for like a jacket. These guys in the lift are just trying to take down the sign from the all-star game and they get yelled at by the cops for blocking traffic and then they get yelled at by somebody from the arena for blocking the, the way into the parking lot and they're like, God, we just wanna take down the sign. <laughs> yeah, we're downtown. There used to be a train car here, but they moved it because they wanna refurbish it. Surprisingly, homeless people were not living in it, even though you could get into it. Like, we don't ever come down here during the day, and so I've never noticed that, like, all these buildings are just, they're, they're falling apart. They need to do something about that. Let's put some money into it. We're in our, our blue box. That means that we can be uh, asking panhandling in the blue box. It's kind of sad, because these are, like, our oldest buildings in Orlando, or some of the oldest buildings, and, like, that's, that's just where all of the, like, college kids go to get drunk downtown here. It's just stupid college kids. I mean like the bros. You know what I mean by bros, right? I'm making Patrick watch Grave Encounters. This is gonna be the best show ever. They're, it's like they're making fun of Ghost uh, ghost Adventures like non-stop in this first part. We haven't gotten anything like haunted yet. I can't wait. This show is crazy. You guys would not believe how ridiculous this movie is. I mean, it's it's scary. I'm just kidding. I'm watching a show about Elmo and the guy that does the Elmo thing. It's pretty amazing actually like how good he is at like maneuvering his hand like it's an actual person. That's him right there. That's the guy that does Elmo by the way. That's him as a kid. All right, let me tell you guys a little bit about Grave Encounters. Starts out kind of slow, almost exactly like Paranormal, not, I mean it's a different scenario, but same type of action as Paranormal Activity where there's a lot of like dead time beforehand and the stuff starts happening slowly, but then once stuff starts happening in Grave Encounters, it way surpasses what happens in Paranormal Activity. Like, Paranormal Activity, everything's implied. Grave Encounters, you see everything. Everything. And it's kind of scary. It's scary. Would've been scarier at night, but we watched it in the middle of the day. Well, that was a most enjoyable day of not doing anything but watching movies and helping Patrick. See you guys tomorrow, now it's time to pay the price.